Bulls Nation, around two days ago, I discussed an article that was, again, very interesting, talking about some free agent targets that would perfectly fit Zach Levine. And I want to keep that trend going, and hopefully that video does well, and hopefully this one will do well as well. And we're going to be talking today about three underrated players that deserve a second opportunity on the Chicago Bulls. Not a lot of Chicago Bulls players outside of our two All-Stars actually get the tremendous praise that they probably deserve. So we're going to be talking about some of those underrated players and let's see if I believe there's a second chance waiting for them in this upcoming season. So without further ado, let's talk about some Chicago Bulls players in this video. Let's do it. What's going on everybody? It's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to review another article and this article is obviously created by uh, Pippin Ain't Easy and again this is a fan uh website that's going to be discussing Chicago Bulls and again this is another article we're going to be reacting from them. We're going to be talking about some underrated players, specifically three underrated players that deserve second chances on the Chicago Bulls and once again I've not seen these and again these are fan opinions, opinions, pieces, articles and hopefully um, it could be respectful as well if you guys agree or disagree with this article or with my opinions feel free to let me know in the comments below and let's have a debate but before we get started please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel turn notifications on and again let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts about these three players now once again I've not seen these I don't know who these players are going to be I can have a clear idea because I know the roster of this team and uh, I can kind of see where things will be going but we're going to kick things off with the third one right now as we click that player is going to be Devin Dotson um this one's a bit confusing because this article is talking about second chances but Devin Dotson has not really been given a chance on this team to really thrive he's only really had once one really really meaningful game and that was the last game of the season against the Milwaukee Bucks a lot of his time was spent in the G League and garbage time minutes and of course in terms of second chances I think he should be here next season absolutely but I don't really agree that he's been given enough of a chance for him to be given a second chance if you know what I mean he really only had one meaningful game he didn't really do anything wrong in any his garbage time minutes either I don't really see this being a second chance opportunity because again you need to be given a chance to have a second chance Devin Dotson someone I'm really excited about and I can't wait and, and this is another reason why I can't wait for the summer league because if there is a summer league this season we're going to be seeing Devin Dotson play meaningful minutes. Again, it might not be in the NBA. It will be against other players that are trying to fight for their spots, fight for their contracts. But Devin Dotson can truly show something in that period. And if he can show something, he may as well be our third choice, maybe even second choice point guard of the future. So that's a very good opportunity for him. But in terms of a chance, he's not really been given a chance in my opinion. So I'm not going to really say that one. The next one is going to be Javante Green. Um... Absolutely, in my opinion, Javante Green deserves a second chance. Ever since he's come to the Chicago Bulls, he's been absolutely sensational. He's been a player that I think has been very vibrant, very energetic, hustle player. Reminds me a little bit of David Nwaba. I say this all the time because he is that type of player. And again, he's he's able to give you some buckets here and there as well. Um, he's not really had a lot of uh, years in the NBA. I believe that he's, that's his second season or third season in the NBA. So I think he deserves an op another opportunity opportunity on this team but again um if we do have players that can be potentially better than Javante Green I don't really mind that either but to say that he hasn't earned his opportunity next season I think that's a bit naive of course I believe he's earned his minutes next season he's earned his minutes this season and I think he's earned an opportunity to come back to this team next season but we're gonna have to wait and see again our roster could be completely different next season and there's no telling who's gonna be here and who's gonna go which is why articles like these become very interesting because you just don't know what's gonna happen you don't know there's a random player like Jermichael Green that we talk about that could very well come here next season or if a player like Javante Green might not be here next season. Same with um, Devin Dotson. You, don't, you just don't know these things. This roster could be so different. And that's why it's very important to discuss every possible outcome, every possible opinion that we possibly can. And speaking of, moving to number one, it's going to be Troy Brown Jr. Um, uh I rate Troy Brown Jr. a lot. And again, I'm stumbling because this is kind of a reaction. It just hit me. I, again, I don't really think this article 
is discussing second chances because Troy Brown has taken his opportunity with his first chance on this team. I don't see um, why he would not get a second chance, in my opinion. But again, fair play, Troy Brown Jr. I'm a big fan of him. Um, came to this team off of a trade to the Washington Wizards. He's been highly touted from Washington side to the Chicago side. Obviously, we now see why Troy Brown was highly valued for a lot of Washington Wizards fans. Uh, he's 21 years old. He's a player that can do a lot of things defensively. He wants to guard the best player on the court. He has a little bit of offensive talent to him. Again, he suffered from an injury and that really stunted what he could have done this season. And um, I hope that he can get more meaningful minutes next season. Obviously, I think he's taken the reins of a player like Denzel Valentine, who might not be here next season, I think a player like Troy Brown can fill those shoes nicely. And I think that he could even do a little bit better than that. So I'm I'm excited to see what Troy Brown does. Again, this team is very exciting in many ways because if we do keep a player like Troy Brown, we give him another chance, he could do very well for this team. And he's a young player that we've traded for. We clearly wanted him because we traded for him. So I don't see why he would get another... He would get he would not get an opportunity. Of course, I believe he's going to get another opportunity. And not only that, I think that he can do very, very well. I think the coach likes him. I think, obviously, the Bulls fans like him. I truly think Troy Brown likes Chicago as well. So I don't really see um, the, the opportunity not there for him. I think he's going to get the opportunity. I think he's going to grasp it and not really let it go. And those are the three players that, uh, that was uh, discussed in this article. But again, uh, in terms of that, I feel like there should be more players to discuss, and I'm going to be discussing a little bit of them on my own here. Um, another player that I believe could potentially get a second chance on this team is Daniel Tice. Um, Daniel Tice is a player that, again, he's earned his minutes in Chicago. He's done phenomenal things in Chicago, and I think the second chance is obviously up to him now. It's, I think the Bulls are fully convinced that they want Daniel Tice on their team next season. That second chance opportunity is now up to him. If he wants a second chance to play on this team and try and get into the playoffs and maybe compete for something good, compete for maybe the, some of the top seeds in the NBA, I think Daniel Tice has that second chance right there waiting for him. We have a team that's going to be adjusting well. We have a team that's going to be very different next season and hopefully that means that we get rid of some of those players that have been holding us back and we get some players that could push us forward and Daniel Tice could be part of that. So I think that second chance opportunity also goes towards him. Another player that I think deserves a second chance, that is Young. Last season, under Billy Donovan, many people wanted him traded. Many people wanted him waived. Even Thaddeus Young himself thought he was thought about retiring. It was not a good year where Thaddeus Young had a coaching stint with Jim Boylan, and that system really failed Thaddeus Young. I think Thaddeus Young, even to an extent, failed himself, and that was a very upsetting time for him. And he got another, I guess that's his third opportunity, because his second opportunity under under Billy Donovan, under a new regime and management, and allowing him to play the style of basketball that suits him, he was able to have his best season, in my opinion, both on the playmaking side, the field goal percentage side, and in my opinion, just one of his better seasons overall as a Chicago Bull. And I think... Because of that, not only does he rate the Chicago Bulls, he likes the Chicago Bulls. Obviously, he probably wants to stay as a Chicago Bull, but I believe he's earned another opportunity to prove himself in this team. And once again, I think he could do very well for us. And that's another player that I think deserves another opportunity on this team. And um, and that's really all I have to say in terms of that. I don't think players like I, I, I'm gonna. I, I don't mean to be mean here by any stretch. I don't think players like Denzel Valentine, uh, maybe even Ryan Archie Diacono, uh, obviously Luke Cornett and Felicio, uh, or just Felicio. Sorry, Luke Cornett's not on this team. I don't think any of those players necessarily deserve second chances. I think they've had countless opportunities, and some of those players I like, but some of those players I think it's really time for them to leave. Uh, but those are the players that I think deserves opportunities on the Chicago Bulls. I thought I'd give my own opinion pieces to this article as well. And hopefully you guys agree. If you disagree, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful and safe day. Please subscribe if you're new. Uh, we're trying to get to 540. Hopefully by the time the video comes out, we can get that. But if not, um, hopefully we can get that over the coming days and weeks. Have a wonderful and safe day. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Take care.